Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and we are going to be checking into a club level one bedroom villa here at Jumbo House. I'm so excited to give you a tour around the resort, especially during the holidays because I'm pretty sure the tree is up and then also show you all the club level offerings, all the food, desserts and snacks that you actually get that's included in the Kilimanjaro Club. Anywho's, let's go do this. I love the fact that they're playing Animal Kingdom Lodge Christmas music already and I can see a couple Christmas decorations around the check-in area and I am excited. I always wanted to stay here during the Christmas season and tonight's gonna be the night. The club level actually just recently started again and I'm so excited to show you guys all the offerings like I said if you're not sure what club level is it's a separate area of a resort where they actually give you like complimentary like beverages snacks food items desserts and it's kind of like a lounge area and they're in most of all like Disney World resorts but the one here at Animal Kingdom Lodge I love so much because you get like food items from Boma so it's kind of like you get in the restaurant included in your room and I love that. I love how everything is kind of hidden away until you actually make it through these doors right here and then the tree is revealed. Look at that. Oh, I am so excited to be here right now. Like I said, I've always wanted to stay here during the holidays just because I can just stare at the tree and just <laughs> be like happy. Like <laughs> this is happy right here. So amazing, isn't it? One of the best things about staying club level is you're gonna be staying kind of in the main lobby area. So you're gonna be able to just stare down at the lobby and the Christmas tree. And even the Kilimanjaro Club, which is like the club level lounge, is right above the Christmas tree. Right at the tippy top of the sixth floor of the lobby here where you see that window, that's where the Kilimanjaro Club is at. And that's where they have like the uh, special snacks and drinks and even alcoholic beverages. Like all you care to enjoy, it's complimentary and it's really awesome because like I said, you get to just hang out up there and stare at all these beautiful Christmas decorations. I think we're gonna start off by going to check into our room so that way I can drop off my bags and then we're gonna just give you a grand tour around the resort. Maybe check out some animals. I'm not too sure if I get a safari view or not. I guess we'll find out actually once we get up there. And uh, I'm just, I'm very excited. I'm very happy to be here. But don't you worry, we will be back to actually take in all the holiday cheer with this amazing Christmas tree. Especially when we're hanging out up at Kilimanjaro Club. One of the things that you actually have to do is you have to tap your magic band to prove that you're actually staying up there. It's actually in the elevator shaft and I'll show you like you gotta tap, tap, tap. We're going all the way up. That is awesome, isn't it? And it says Kilimanjaro Club right on there. So, so cool. We went from the bottom of the tree to seeing the tippity top. Right there it is, the top of the tree. I just love being here and I love the lights too. The theming is so amazing here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I like Jumbo House a little bit better than uh, Kadani only because of the lobby. And you can always come visit here, you know what I mean? You can always come and uh, actually enjoy some of the resort amenities. Sometimes uh, different resorts are a little bit difficult to get into because of parking. But Animal Kingdom Lodge, usually they let people in. If not, always get a reservation and come have dinner at Boma. I found my room and it is overlooking the whole entire lobby. How cool is that? Right here, room 6402. Holy moly, this room is amazing. I'm gonna give you the grand tour and it's huge, huge I say. As soon as you walk in, there's the front door. You've got the whole kitchen area, which is so awesome, because look at the backdrop of the kitchen here. They've got some animals on there, like an elephant, and then they've got a rhino, and then Simba. They've got Simba over here. Simba above the toaster, which is really cool. Speaking of that, they got coffee, a coffee maker, a Mr. Coffee, a nice toaster, a full stove, a whirlpool microwave, Plenty and plenty of storage. And down here, we've got some backup paper towels, a fire extinguisher, a garbage can, a nice little island. And this is what I was talking about. Everything has like amazing carvings in it. Like the detail in Animal Kingdom Lodge is so amazing. And then over here, I think this is a 
A laundry room, I would guess? We'll find out. Nope, it's a big closet. Oh, it's a very big closet, look at that. Somebody can actually sleep in there. You can lay down in that, definitely. I mean, the ironing board, actually lay it down this way. I'm not gonna try that, but definitely is doable. It's not as big as I thought it was gonna be. Of course, we can't forget to check out the fridge. Fully stocked, they know me so well. And if you guys notice, something is missing in here, but that's because we get complimentary beers over at the uh, Kilimanjaro Club, so we don't need any of those. And here is the living room. We've got a nice dining table set right here. These are so pretty. Also, look at the lions on the back of the chairs. And a lot of cool like artwork in here. Plenty of places to actually sit down. We've got a pull-out couch so somebody can sleep there. Then also another pull-out couch there. Look at this entertainment center. Holy moly, I want this for my house. It's got Simba on it, tons of USB ports and the rhinos. This is so cool. I really love this. And then we've got the resort TV on. Look at that. Today is Thursday, November 8th. 253, 79 degrees. It's gonna be 69 a little bit later on tonight. And some Magic Kingdom information. I'm gonna save the balcony for last because the balconies are always my favorite. Now, this is a huge balcony. It's very, very large, but it's kind of like a pool slash safari view. I mean, a savannah view. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a good view, but it's hard to get like that amazing savannah view, especially when you stay in club level because you're in the main lobby. As I said before, this is a one bedroom villa, so we're actually gonna show you where the bedroom is. Isn't it so big in here? This is bigger than my actual apartment. Nice little hallway with some Animal Kingdom artwork. And then to the right is the bedroom. And once again, all the amazing woodmanship or craftsmanship and a nice large bed. This is so awesome. Ooh. And then they actually have the Simba uh, headboards. I seen these for sale actually. I was gonna buy one. They're very, very heavy, but aren't those amazing? And it's a nice size room. Five pillows. It's a record almost. Six is the tops. I think I've had six pillows at the Polynesian or maybe at Pop Century. But oh, look at this table. I mean, look at this chair. All the detail in it. That's what I'm talking about. Animal Kingdom Lodge really excels at that. We gotta take a peek, see inside everything here. Ooh, that's a big one. We got a safe, some nice wooden hangers, and I'm not even too sure what that's called. <laughs> I mean, they're in every single like room I've ever stayed at, but I don't know what it's actually called. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> The bathroom, which is right next door to the bedroom, is one of the biggest bathrooms I've seen for just like a one bedroom villa. Plenty and plenty of space in there. Right over here. We're gonna cross the way. And something that's really awesome is inside the shower. Take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love the shower current itself. Like you really feel like you're <laughs> You're somewhere special here. Like, it's so amazing. I love it. I can't get over it. Sad to say, looks like we've got the soap locked down, though. So no freebies. It does have a jacuzzi tub, though. So that's a plus. And then the uh, toilet is actually in a separate little door here. Look at that. Some privacy. No privacy at all. <laughs> As I was giving you a tour of the bathroom, I realized that the shower curtain in the mirror can really act as like a good selfie spot. Like, look at that. It's very photogenic. Also, do you guys like my shirt? This is from uh, Park Candy. It's Alligator Loki. It's a really cool shirt. I started actually wearing some of their shirts and I like them. So we'll see a couple more of them as we go. And I'll put a link in the description for their uh, shop that you can check out. Oh, we got a hidden Mickey. Hidden Mickey alert. Right here. Well, technically, right there. See it? In between the bathroom and the bedroom, I think this is the washer and dryer. Oh, yep, there it is. This is the good stuff right here. Oh, yeah. You're coming home with me. <laughs> 
okay, now we're gonna head back out to the balcony here. And then we're actually gonna go and explore the resort a little bit. And I think right now they're doing uh, safari snacks over at the club level. So we're gonna be able to show you some of those, but I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh yeah, there we go. This is the way. There we go. And take a look at that view right there. See how we got like a pool view and then also a little bit of a savanna view. Not much though. I see some flamingos, that's about it. But you never know what actually come across those wooded area there. But this resort is just so beautiful to look at. I like how they actually have this actually hanging down right here. And didn't I tell you that the balcony is huge? Look at this. It's got one chair, zebra chair. These are the best. <laughs> and then we got <laughs> three other chairs over here. So you can kind of like run. And then this is our one bedroom in there. So you technically have two balconies. It's a one bedroom villa with two balconies. It's a little bit of a gloomy day. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see a sunset or even a sunrise tomorrow because I think the sunrise is actually on the other side. But uh, maybe I'll add in my sunrise video from the last time I stayed here. That was when the uh, club level wasn't open yet and I loved it so much. So I might end that actually in at the end of the video because I liked it and it was really fun. Unless we can actually get a sunrise because that would be pretty fancy. One of my favorite uh, resort amenities is here at Animal Kingdom Lodge because yeah, of course we have this very nice pool and you get to actually like see a bunch of different animals out at the uh, Savannah, which we will go check out in a little bit. But you can also do night vision, like Savari, uh, Savannah viewing. They have night vision out there where you actually get to put it on and you get to see some of the animals at night. So that would be really awesome if that's available and we'll check that out as well. Now I think we'll actually go take a peek see at the Kilimanjaro Club and see what they're actually offering at this time. I love how close our room is actually to the club level too. So you see we just come right out the door and there it is. We can just hop right on over, grab ourselves anything we'd like, coffee, juices, snacks, they've got it all out there right now. Once you check in at the club level, they give you a nice little welcoming package and I'm going to open it up. It has like time schedules and all the different offerings that they actually have for the day. And I'm excited. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's got some nice twine to it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, awesome. Oh, wow. A whole chocolate bar here. It's a fancy chocolate bar. It's got rhino, zebras, and I don't know what those are. Maybe Bonka Box. And a little Animal Kingdom Lodge sticker. And then here's the uh, welcome letter. I like this. It's like a little personalized letter. And it gives you the hours of service right here. Uh, from uh, Adventures Awakenings. Uh, 7 a.m. to 10.30. That is like a, a hot breakfast. Like a continental breakfast. And then they've got safari snacks from 11.30 to 4. Twilight offerings from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And then evening indulgences 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. So we got a lot to look forward to. Right now we can check out the safari snacks. Right now, like I said, is the safari snack time. And it's like chips and different uh, cookies and little tiny snacks. But the next offering, which starts at five o'clock, is uh, the uh, like hot menu items. Things from Sanaa, things from Boma. And I hear that the butter chicken is one of the items too. So um, I'm like I said, I'm very excited to show you all of them. We're gonna do the next three servings and then tomorrow morning, probably breakfast. They have all types of sodas and juices that you can come and just help yourself to. They've got a nice little coffee station. They've got an espresso machine, which is pretty amazing because, you know, I love the Nespresso. And then look at it. You have little candy jars here, too. Peppermints. Starburst. And look at all those Starbursts. Most of them are actually pink and red. And then what do we got over here? Oh, a couple of those. Not even sure what they are. Jolly Ranchers. I like that. And then we've got animal crackers. We've got Uncrustables. That's really cool. Some cookies. And then, ooh, a nice little snack mix. Looks like it's like pretzels and peanuts and stuff like that. Some goldfish. A couple bags of chips, sun chips and Lay's potato chips. And a lot of good offerings. Most of the good, good stuff comes out next. This is kind of like the in-between and grab-and-go as you're actually heading out to the parks. And it's very convenient because you can just take these with you 
and you don't have to worry about uh, having stuff to snack on while you're actually in the parks. Of course, they actually have different beers, liquors, wines that you can enjoy, and you just gotta ask. So I figured I'd start off with a little Bud Light, but I did find out they do have Tusker Lager, so I'll probably get one of those a little bit later on, and that's like a really cool African beer. But uh, yeah, Bud Light's complimentary. I like that. <laughs> Now we can take our Bud Light and actually go walk around a little bit. Like I said, the best thing about hanging out up here is being able to just kind of overlook the lobby itself. But I also believe they have a separate little area where you can actually look out at the Savannah. So we're going to go check to see if that's actually open. It is a little bit raining out right now, so I'm not too sure how it's going to look outside, but we must explore. I love rocking chairs. So this is really nifty. Get to just kind of hang back, rock a little bit, and stare at some animals. And it gives you a little animal guide here too. Let you know who's out, who's out and about. The East African crowned crane, the wildebeest, the giraffe, and back to the East African crowned crane. But there's more animals than just those ones. I mean, right now I can see a lot of zebras and some wildebeest. But this right here, this is the good stuff. <laughs> As I was sitting up here, I realized there's a fire down there. So we're gonna have to go take a peek, see at the fire, even though it's raining, still gotta see the fire. Oh yeah, this I like. It's a little tiny fire, but <laughs> so cool, right? I'd be so excited to just hang out here at night. Right now there's nobody out cause it is raining. Like it's not like raining bad. It's just a little tiny rain, but uh, nobody wants to really be hanging outside at the moment. Look at these little guys. Now they're getting kind of close. And also right over there, some zebra. So pretty. I don't know why, but every time I look at these animals or the antelopes, uh, I just see my dog's face. Like, I see Gracie, and I think it's so cute. I think that way with all animals. I wish I could bring her here, because that would have been awesome. I mean, I can't bring her because it's not a pet-friendly resort, but I do have a resort stay coming up where Gracie's coming along with me, and I'm so excited for that. I always feel bad going on these staycations, and she's not allowed to come, and she actually has to stay with her dog walker or her doggy friend. Uh, why I'm actually doing the staycations but soon very soon she's gonna be able to come with me and I'm pumped I'm very excited for that video look at that we can see some more animals over on this side we've got zebras and there's a, a couple giraffes in the back there I'll try to zoom in it looks like they're eating right now I think that giraffe literally just walked in front of that sign oh there it goes you can see it through the woods Now I think we're actually gonna head back inside and make our way over to the other side where the pool is. There's another Savannah viewing area over there that a lot of people don't know about. And uh, kind of show you all the cool pool amenities and also the places you can actually eat. Now I'm not gonna be having dinner anywhere, like, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna eat at Boma or over at Sanaa because we're staying club level so we're gonna have that food that's available to us complimentary, you know what I mean? So it kind of saves you a little bit of money. Like it saves you a lot of money actually if you think about it. As we make our way back into the main lobby area, you can see they have two little bitty Christmas trees down here. I mean, nothing compared to the big one that's in the lobby, but it's still nice to see all the Christmas decorations. And I just love being here. Like I said, it is so beautiful and well detailed. Every time I get to come in the lobby and see the tree, it just makes me happy. To the right of the lobby, they have Victoria Falls lounge area. This is a really cool spot to actually grab some drinks. And then below that, is Boma, which is one of my all-time favorite buffets actually here at Walt Disney World. I hope that they have some zebra domes uh, over at club level. If they don't, uh, I know where you can buy zebra domes without having to go to Boma. So I'll show you that actually as well. Boma is one of my all-time favorite restaurants and I'll put a link in the description so if you want to check out that review and I love it. So good, if you're staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, I highly suggest actually getting a reservation for Boma. One of the restaurants that's not open yet though is Jiko, and it's actually one of the very few restaurants I have not eaten at yet. I think there's only like three of them. Three restaurants at Walt Disney World I haven't eaten at yet. Let me know in the comments if you know the three restaurants. I mean, I've pretty much eaten everywhere. Here is a look at the map here, and you can see they've got a nice little wading pool, the Yuzma pool, the water slide, and 
I told you before they have like a separate savanna like overlook and it's kind of right over here and I like that and they also have a massage center and a lot of other offerings really really big and massive it's a it's a big resort here is a look at some of the recreational offerings that they have. It looks like the night vision is happening from 6 p.m. to 7 o'clock, but it's a little rainy out right now, so it's tough. And they also have a campfire as well, but I really would like to try that night vision out. Hopefully we can make it back over here for that. If you ever do want to come and just try the zebra domes here and you don't want to pay like the $55 price tag at Boma, inside the Mara, I believe they sell them. And I'm going to go double check right now. And like I said, if they don't got them up at club level, I'm going to buy some. <laughs> right here is the Mara. And this is like the quick service location. So it has uh, two restaurants. Well, technically it has three restaurants if you include Kidani and Sanaa. And then it's got one quick service location right here. Oh. Right there they are, the zebra domes, $4.29. And I think you get four of them and it's just grab and go. Look at that, these are the best. I love zebra domes so much. Oh, so we're coming back down if we're not, if we don't get them. Another really nifty activity that they have is an arcade tournament that they do every once in a while in Pumbaa's Fun Center. And I like it that they have a Pumbaa arcade. Like, isn't that really nifty? Because I feel like Pumbaa, out of all the characters, would be all for the arcade games. Look at that. Pumbaa's Fun and Games. And look, it's a big, big arcade. They've got tons and tons of different machines in here. Holy moly, I don't remember it being this big. <laughs> That's impressive. And... They've got the massage chairs, lots of great stuff. That is a pretty big arcade there. And now I wanna show you kind of around the pool, but I don't wanna film anyone swimming or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you as much as I could. And also they have like a pool bar as well. Here is the pool area and it looks like they have a water slide over here. I never even knew they had a water slide here. And uh, the little pool bar area is right next to us. Very cool stuff right here. Lots of cool spots to sit down and just kind of enjoy. Fancy. Before I was pointing out flamingos from my balcony and these are the flamingos right here. And I wonder if we can see our room from here as well. Here they are. Hi, what is that? What are those guys doing right there? I think they're locked in each other's mouths. I have no idea what's happening right now. I'm very confused on what's happening right now. It's like the other one's got like the other one in a, a headlock. I had to go run and tell one of the Savannah guys just in case that's not natural. You know what I mean? Oh, holy moly. Look at this. We got a giraffe right here. So close to us too. One of the Savannah guides told me that the flamingos do that all the time and they can get quite loud and they kind of are very strange birds. So whatever they were doing, I guess they're usually doing that. Oh, and there he goes, or she. I think uh, got nervous with me staring at it for a while there. So decided to go about somewhere else. But this is the other Savannah view that I was talking about that you can actually come and possibly see more animals. And actually we did. We ended up seeing, uh, I think three different types of animals that we didn't see over on the other side. They also have a little guide here that shows you that there's some vultures out there, a water buck, and then the spur winged goose. Fancy. Now I think the rain is actually starting to come down a little bit heavier, so I grabbed a towel to actually keep the camera dry, and I think we're going to head back up to the room. Time to make our way back up to the room, and I just love doing this every time. Thank you. <laughs> Now we've made it back to the room and I had to swap out hats because the other one got soaked in the rain, but it did its purpose. It kept me dry and the camera dry because I like to take my hat off and actually cover the camera whenever it's raining. So I think we're actually gonna go over and see the appetizers for the Kilimanjaro Club. Now these are the ones I've been excited for. I mean, I'm excited for later on when they bring out all the drinks and the desserts, but I'm a little hungry. So I'm excited for some food. Here we are. It looks like they've got a Christmas tree up here too. And here's some of the food selections we've got. We've got butter chicken. I think that's from Sanaa, isn't it? Oh yeah. And then the Sanaa tomato soup. That's really awesome. It's all right here. Ooh. And then we got rice and what are those, potatoes? Uh, no, this one is a penne cheese. Oh, it's a cheese. Oh, it goes with the soup. Oh, fancy. 
So I'm definitely gonna get some buttered chicken, but I wanna see what else they actually have as well. Right next to the uh, buttered chicken, it looks like we've got some nice bottles of wine that's self-service, so you just grab as you like. And then an assortment of different beers. Wow, we got Bud Light, Tusker, uh, we've got Blue Moon, Michelob Ultra, all the good, all the good things. Oh, and also a little zebra bottle opener too. That is fancy. As we keep moving along, we've got ham and cheese roll-ups. We've got some watermelon. We've got some tubalua salad. Look, look at that, with shaved beef. And then a couple of other uh, different pasta salads too. We've got some asparagus. We've got some some ball olives. Uh, three different types of hummus too. They've got this sun-dried tomato. Then they've got olive hummus. And then they also got the North African cauliflower salad. That looks actually pretty delicious. Like I wasn't expecting that. And then over here we've got some carrots, some cucumbers, some of Boma mustard. Oh, that's a good touch right there. And uh, oh, the Saint Dalhi Ranch. This is actually made on premise here. And uh, oh, a charcuterie. That's really cool. Tons of different cheese, different types of meat, some honey, some prosciutto, and an assortment of breads. All very fancy. Now we've got a couple of snack items and we're gonna try the buttered chicken. Now I don't think I've ever had this before but I have eaten at Sanaa and I had their chicken dish so this might be kind of like what I had before, I'm not too sure. We also got some asparagus and some watermelon and some of the bread and I'm just gonna enjoy a little bit. Here is a look at the buttered chicken and also some of my fruit and bread. Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, the tomato soup, so I might be missing out on it. Now tomorrow, they're actually serving like oxtail soup from Boma and also the chicken corn chowder. And I'm really sad I missed out on that. <laughs> so I guess it rotates, like they constantly have new hot items uh, that they change out throughout the day, I mean throughout the week. And today we just ended up getting Sanaa. All right, let's try this though first. Very excited. I do like rice and chicken, so we'll give it a go. This is really good. It's not spicy at all, and I kind of thought it was gonna be spicy by the looks of it, but no spice. And uh, I really like it. The chicken's good, the rice is good. I can't wait to try some of the uh, other offerings that they have. I know we got desserts coming out a little bit later on, and also I wanna try a little bit more of the bread because I found out that this actually goes very well together. A little bit of the sauce, a little bit of the bread. Just a little bit of everything, you know? <laughs> I actually had to go back up and grab all of the bread because I want to try it all. I really, really like it. We got some Nana bread here. You guys remember when I called this Nana bread? <laughs> it was so funny. Nana bread. Yeah. And dipping it in the, uh, uh, the buttered chicken with the rice. So good. I'd probably just sit here and actually eat bread and rice all day. Now, when it comes down to this little bread right here, I wasn't sure how I could actually mix this in with my chicken, so I came up with an idea, and I grabbed another one, and now we've got chopsticks. But these are so much better, because you get to eat them as you're actually like picking things up. It's kind of like having edible chopsticks. It's really cool, see? <laughs> I don't know if edible chopsticks are a thing, but I really believe they should be. Oh, that didn't work good. Also, I do have to say, I love the asparagus here too. Now I think I'll grab myself a Tusker. Gotta have a Tusker. And I get to use the fancy zebra opener. This is what I'm talking about. And then you got the tree right there. It's fancy, isn't it? You got a Tusker Lager now. I like this. And it's the finest quality of lager, 4.2%. Very fancy, but I can't get over the beer with the view. You know what I mean? Like that is, that's everything right there. 
one of the things I just found out that they offer is Pog Juice Mimosas. And they're bottomless mimosas, and I think you can get them early in the morning too, so you can get them before you actually head out to the park. And we are definitely gonna be trying one of those a little bit later on. Can't pass up like a good Pog Juice Mimosa, you know what I mean? And then, the, uh, with the desserts, they bring out the Grand Marnay, and they bring out the, the uh, Kahlua and the Baileys, so it's uh, a lot to come. I'm very excited for this. I'm gonna be having some friends join me in a little bit, so I think I'm gonna wait on the Pog Juice Mimosa so I have someone to cheers with, but I just wanna keep on peeking over into the lobby here, especially with this nice little garland. I just love it, I love it so much. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Okay, let's do one cheer that will do you best. All right, and cheers to Pog Juice Mimosas. <laughs> That is good. That really is good. I like it. A little bit of cranberry in there for the uh, color. It's refreshing. I love it. They are She's just the about to take video. out the uh, hot they're food the and they're going to get ready for the desserts. But take a look at how much chicken they just gave me. They gave me so much. And I also, I grabbed uh, two more chopsticks so that way we can enjoy it a little bit more. As we're sitting down enjoying our Pog Juice Mimosas, which by the way, they are absolutely amazing and delicious. I think the desserts and uh, the other beverages are coming out, so I think we're gonna try them. Also, I'm with my friends. Uh, they uh, have TikToks right down Main Street and the Kingdom Crew, and uh, just kind of hanging out and enjoying some of the festivities or amenities that they have here. Yes. I think we're gonna try one of everything. I don't see any zebra domes though. So we might actually have to run down to the mar to get those. Oh, but look at this. This looks like a nice lemon strawberry tart. Add that right on the mix there. Then we've got another chocolate tart right here. Thank you. And ooh, another berry tart. Lots of tarts. <laughs> Lots of tarts, I say. And also some cookies. Very fancy. Oatmeal raisin, chocolate chip. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna want the chocolate chip, but I'll try the oatmeal raisin. They're nice and soft. Looks good to me. And then they've got the ham and cheese wheels again. And uh, regular beverages over here. Also, what they brought out is something really cool. Free pour Frangelico. They have uh, Amarella. They've got Grand Marnay. And then they've got the uh, Kahlua right there. So it's pretty uh, pretty nifty that they got those. Nothing was marked up there yet, so we kind of just grabbed them and uh, maybe I'll just try them and see how they go. I thought this one was lemon, but it could be the cheesecake. I don't know. I already had the oatmeal cookie and that was pretty good. Pretty delicious. <laughs> All right, first things first. I, I thought this was lemon, but they said it's passion fruit. So we're gonna try. And they also said it was like a freeze uh, dried or a red chili like candy. But I don't know, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it a try. So it really is just kind of like a passion fruit tart. I don't think there's any red chili in there. And also they told us that this is a uh, plant-based like uh, spiced cake, kind of like a carrot cake. And uh, not so many great things said about it. So we'll try it even though. And then before they used to have like little tiny uh, like uh, cupcake cones. And that's what these are, but they ran out of the cones. So they just made it into a tart. Now I think we're gonna try some Grand Marnay. Never had it before, so I'm very curious. The very bottle, curious? The bottle presentation is actually very nice. I do appreciate it. Oh, very fancy. Well, thank you. Well, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> You're gonna have to lead the way. So, uh, no. shots of Grand Marnay. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Are we supposed to smell it before? I don't know. I wouldn't do that. Shoot it. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. It's like orange. Oh my god, it's so orangey. <laughs> it is very orangey. Yes, it's very orangey. I don't know, but I like it. It was pretty very, good, but very orangey. Very orangey. It's like vitamin C, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and now, Frangelico. <laughs> 
Well, that was fun hanging out with some friends and enjoying some drinks and some desserts. The desserts were, mm, you know, they were okay. They were very good. I like the berry tart as like my favorite. The uh, spiced cake uh, just kind of had a weird texture to it. And everyone said like all the different uh, concierge people up there were just like, a lot of people don't like the spice cake, but I mean, it was okay. I wish they had the zebra domes, no zebra domes. They do actually have like a deconstructed zebra dome sometimes they put out. Everything that they have is basically on a rotation and they switch things up all the time. So you never know what you're gonna get. And uh, I think it's time to switch over to some comfy like PJs and kind of get ready for bed. You know what I mean? We have breakfast tomorrow morning. And uh, like I said, I, I hope, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wake up in time for a sunrise. I mean. It's pretty late. That was uh, the desserts was uh, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. and they start like shutting everything down around 10 o'clock. But they leave stuff there and they do like last call. So it's kind of like paying for an bottle service or an all-exclusive like lounge area. You know what I mean? It, it uh, it's really that aspect of it. Like if you want to have some drinks with some friends, uh, staying here at club level is probably really worth it because anywhere else, beers at Disney are ten dollars and mixed drinks. I mean the mimosas that we had those were probably thirteen dollars somewhere else so that was fun now like i said i think it's pj time when i walked in the room it was set to 59 that is pretty amazing it's never usually set low but they must have known i was coming Something that I think is pretty amazing if you wake up in the middle of the night and you're craving a snack You can actually go out to the Kilimanjaro Club Grab some sodas or beverages out of the cooler and even maybe a Mickey premium bar or an ice cream sandwich Whatever they have out there. It's just you know, you just go up. It's complimentary. It's open. It's there all night Right now it's about 1.46 in the morning and we're going to take a stroll out there and see what they have available. I'm not really in the mood for any snacks or desserts, but it's really cool to see what they got. You know what I mean? Looks like we got some Diet Coke, some Fanta, some Sprite, some waters, and then in the ice cream freezer, look at that. A little Mickey premium bar as a late night snack. I'm really not in the uh, mood for that right now. But it's still cool to see that you can actually come grab one though if you wanted to. And then uh, everything else is basically shut down. Getting ready for breakfast in the morning. I didn't want a Mickey Premium Bar, but it's really awesome to know that you can just go out there in the middle of the night, grab a soda, grab a water, or grab a Mickey Premium Bar if you wanted to. And now it's uh, time to go to bed. So like I said, it's been a long night. It's almost two o'clock in the morning and we're gonna wake up bright and early tomorrow for breakfast. Disney beds are so comfortable. And the fact that we've got little baby Simba above us tonight makes it even better. So, I guess it's uh, off to bed. Good night. How many of you guys have ever been woken up by that little tiny like inch gap that lets the sunlight in? Gets me every time. Good morning! It's 9 a.m. <laughs> wow, it doesn't look like it was a bad morning. The sunrise probably would have been amazing. I'm a little sad I didn't wake up that early, but it was good to sleep in. One thing I have to say though, when I was in my room sleeping, right, obviously I got woken up by that little like ray of light, but I also got waken like I, I also got woken up by the smell of bacon and pancakes and waffles and syrup and that is because right below us right here is Boma and you can literally smell it kind of just like wafting in the air and it's a good smell like it's pretty amazing it's probably a lot better than the smell you get at the Savannah view because that actually smells like a lot of Anna animal poo poo <laughs> speaking of bacon and waffles and all the breakfast foods let's go out to the kilimanjaro club and we'll get ourselves some breakfast and some coffee now i did bring my creamer like i brought my my french vanilla cream i need to have it but i noticed with the nespresso machine that they have out there they have like pumpkin spice uh syrups and a lot of fancy items so i kind of feel like i didn't even need to bring my creamer i didn't bring the bud light because i was getting all the bud lights last night and the tusker lagers so I mean, I guess when you stay club level, you don't, you know, the fridge doesn't need to be fully stocked. I think breakfast is until 10.30, so we've got just about an hour. Wow, it looks so different. 
<laughs> it looks so bright out. And look at the Christmas tree, it's actually still lit up. That's really awesome. Looks like we've got a nice bread selection. We've got bagels, English muffins, strawberry jam, orange marmalade, grape jelly, butter, cream cheese. And then it also looks like we've got biscuits and gravy. We've got cereal. Looks like Raisin Bran and Fruit Loops. Some bananas. Then we also got some vegetable boba thai. This was down at Boma. That was really good. We also have an oatmeal like uh, area with brown sugar, ketchup, cranberries and raisins. I don't know why the ketchup's there. Then we've got some plain Greek yogurt, honey, granola, assorted fruit, blueberries, strawberries, honeydew, grape, pineapple. Uh, some more charcuterie it looks like. Oh no, this is smoked salmon. Boma mustard, hard-boiled eggs, salami, shaved ham. Ooh, a couple little pastries over here. A bran muffin, chocolate chip muffin, buttery croissant, maple danish, blueberry muffins. Well, this is actually a good spread. I was really shocked with this. I think I'm gonna have some oatmeal. Take a nice little scoopsy there. Right in the bowl. I don't like this, like, <laughs> spoon. It's very hard to actually pour in there. And, oh, I'm gonna add some granola. This looks really good. Oh yeah, the granola is the way to go with the oatmeal. Yep. Also, maybe a blueberry or two. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, I think that'll do it. I grabbed the biscuit and gravy too, but I think I need to go up and get a coffee or a drink. I forgot a drink. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's looking good. And then, like I said, we have pumpkin spice here, vanilla, hazelnut, all the works. Thank you. Take a little bit of that. Then I also want to try the jungle juice. And that's what I'd say is a good start to the morning. Jungle juice, Nespresso, oatmeal, and biscuits and gravy. I think I'm going to cut into the biscuit and gravy. Biscuits are kind of hard, but the sausage gravy looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. It's all about the gravy. Yes, it is. The biscuit, not so much. The gravy, though, that is so good. Now I want to jump into the oatmeal. The oatmeal is my favorite. This is so good. I was a little sad they didn't have coconut because down at Boma they had the coconut steel cut oatmeal. That is amazing. And I thought maybe they would have like coconut, but I'll take it with the granola because that is just as good. Now that we've had some breakfast, I decided to grab a coffee because they actually have like to-go cups right out there. So you can grab and go into the parks. And I want to have my coffee and kind of hang out on the balcony for a second. Sitting here, actually just enjoying coffee on Disney balconies is one of my favorite things to do. I really love it. I don't know why. This balcony is good because there's so much shade. Like, honestly, it's really, really unique, especially being on the top floor. It might be hard to see, but take a look at like the hangover of the, uh, the ceiling here. Isn't that so awesome? And it's such a good view right where I'm sitting. I don't know why I'm not sitting over there. I think I'm gonna scoot over there. That's a lot better view. I don't know why I was sitting there. It didn't make any sense to me. But yeah, I think our time is coming to an end here. And it was so much fun. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can see the top of the Tree of Life from here. That is really, really awesome. It's like getting a castle view or an Epcot like view. Wow, I never noticed that. I'm gonna try to zoom in real quick. Well, actually, I don't even have to zoom in. You can actually kind of see it on the, like, uh, the mountain line. Not even mountain line, but the tree line. You can see that one little, like, tree that's peeking up over everything else, and right there, that's an oil rig, or what we like to call the tree of life. Well, I believe that is gonna do it for us today. Just about time for checkout, and uh, I had so much fun just showing you around the resort. I mean, I feel like Walt Disney World resorts are kind of like a vacation destination on their own. 
like you can come here and not go to the theme parks and still have an amazing time. Uh, there was a couple things I wish I could have done, like the night vision. That was not open because of the rain. The rain actually stopped me from doing a lot, but I still made the best of it and had an amazing time. And it was cool to be able to hang out at the Kilimanjaro Club. And yeah, I mean, this was Disney Vacation Club, in case you guys don't know. And some friends gave me points because they uh, are expiring and they're going to go like disappear. So thank you to my friends from the Prince Edward Island uh, for giving me points to stay here and show you guys and just give you a rundown of the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!